I feel like this shop in this building in this town at this time is important for America because it's time, because it's past time. Stephenville, Texas is a typical American small town. From another dimension, another world. The folks here are proud of their high school's football team and proud to be the number one dairy county in the state. What Jamaica's doing in the town that he's doing it in is, is bold. He opened an outdoor outfitting company in the cowboy capital of the world. The location of having the shop in Seville was important because I didn't want to be here. I, I wrote this town off. I wrote the people off. I was done. I, I really wanted to leave. I've been in this town enough that like, okay, are they going to welcome and continually accept my family, my, my kids? I, I thought that was a no. Like, this is not a community that I want to be a part of. There's, there's not, this is not a community that I feel is going to accept, understand me. So Slim Pickens Outfitters were an outdoor gear and apparel shop. Uh, located in Seville, Texas, and we are the first black owned outdoor gear shop in the country. When you come in, we want to transport people. We want you to, I think, just be open. We kind of have this saying here, it's Stephenville out there, it's Stephen chilling here. I don't know, you're, you're vibing on a different level. I'm here, like, I'm staying here, I'm not going anywhere. My name is Jamaica Dawes. I'm from Strawn, Texas. Uh, I'm a husband first, a father second to two young boys, both under three. Can you call man? Mm hmm. Okay, come on, Tessa. Come on, Tessa. Come man. Yeah, they're coming too. Come on. Come on. I grew up in Wiley, Texas. Growing up, there was not a lot of diversity. Something specifically that my mom did, and very specifically around Christmas, when we'd go shopping, we'd see angels and elves and, and all these, uh, these kind of porcelain figurines. So my mom would purchase those things. We would go and we'd paint black and brown faces on Santas and angels and elves. Because like, there are black angels and black elves. Yeah, it, it, black is beautiful, yeah. Those are priceless moments that I will always cherish now because representation truly matters. Baby! Yeah, I'll tell my dad. Oh, that's great. I thought I was gonna read to you, but you are reading to me. The trajectory that that puts me on, I mean, it, it really, it, it took down barriers. Because I, I could see myself in that you know, blank. My dad was in the Boy Scouts, so we joined the Boy Scouts. The scout master son uh, referred to my brother as the N-word, and I took it as kind of like, you know, this is not a place for you. You know bro? Yeah. When you experience racism, it changes you. Yeah, I wrote the outdoors off. And I, and I, and I hated it because I didn't feel safe. And now it's your safe place. Now, and, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, it is. As the current just moves around me and like literally calms me down and like, I mean it is this kind of, the spiritual thing of just kind of, kind of washing some of those worries and those woes away. I, I love the outdoors, but I don't fit. For the longest time I thought the outdoors, it looked like this. It had to look like this. And if it didn't look like that, it was in the outdoors. Well, that's the same thing of like, well then the people in the outdoors, they look like this and they had to look like this. I think about it, my, my mom should have bought some like park rangers and painted them black or something like that. <laughs> Again, the plan was never to stay in Steelville though. It's a lot of farm life, it's a lot of ranches. Usually with that, and historically with that, that hasn't been 
to the culture of the mindset that you'd think, oh, this person's gonna be very welcoming to someone like me. I said, all you people that are, that are true Americans, you know, if you love America, if you love Texas, I mean, 2007, Texas. the Klan uh, decided to have a, have a rally here. It's just a different area here. And almost to even say it's not, but it, it, like you could even say like a different time. So like across the street at the courthouse, there's, there's still a rebel monument. To flaunt and represent this ideology that hurt, oppressed, killed so many people that look like me or that thought like me, or, more, or really that didn't think like them. You know, but I think kind of ultimately the question is, do I want to raise my family in a place that had an experience like that less than 20 years ago? If I leave, like, I feel like that would just kind of perpetuate the problem. I didn't like what I was seeing. I didn't like how things were, but I wanted to, to stay to, to, to change that. Something that was surprising to me is that once we kind of built this, we saw people starting to connect with it. You know we brought the vibes to the function. Yeah, you know. The blackest of berries, you know I had to punch there. Yeah, you know. Before we even hit the stage, I got people coming my way to ask me questions about Johnny. They said I heard it is your little brother. Community focus is vital to what we do. And it's really cool because it's, it's not just me. It's people serving up and being community leaders on our bike rides and our fly fishing stuff. We've partnered with the Master Naturalist here. We have what we call the sessions, live and local music by live and local musicians. I guess the secret here is, I don't know a lot about the outdoors. Customers that come in know twice as much as me, and that's great. It's like, oh my gosh, you built your own bike from scratch? Like, come up and, and, and show that. For the longest time, they felt like they had to go some other places to, to be a part of a community. And now we're trying to catch those people, reach those people and say, no, no, come do this here. Okay, three, two, one. Welcome, Welcome to, to Slim Pickens, Pickens Outfitters. Outfitters. I'm Heather Dawes. And I'm Jamaica Dawes. When we talk about roles in the shop, we are a family business in the truest sense of the word. My wife handles all of our marketing and our social media. Bill Murray is, he's the talent. And like when Bill Murray's in the store, we just make more money. The star of the show. It doesn't make sense, I think, when you first look at it. You'll definitely see the influences of my black culture, you'll hear the influences of my Jamaican heritage. We want you to get a sight of Stephenville that you don't think exists by just driving down the streets. I think when you get past the rebel flags and the monuments and you see some of the beauty in this area, that will draw more people than a rebel flag will. I promise you that. the coronavirus spreading in the U.S., there are growing concerns about potential shortages of life-saving drugs and medical equipment. A record number of new COVID-19 cases in Texas. The PPP loans have run out, but the coronavirus risk has not, and business isn't exactly booming. Shop is struggling. Uh, shop is, is doing better than it was, but still not good. I'm very transparent in that now because I used to not be and that was affecting my health. I came to recognize and admit that I was severely depressed and I needed help. Can you see that? What color is that? The shop is still here because of my wife. Because we're a family business and the family came together when I, when I literally could not, could not get out of bed. Okay, so do you remember that one time that we did not have any money and we had to make payroll and you and I just started like selling stuff. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> it was like right after my birthday and you came in and you're like, okay, I know like, I know it's like we're going to celebrate your birthday this weekend, but also like we got to make this work. And so I guess like that is kind of my, that's the fear. That's always the fear. Like, cause it's not, it's not just the shop's financial situation. Like it's, our, our finances are so tied up yeah, in all of this, yeah. you know? So it's not just the shop, it's us too. And like, I'm happy to do it so our kids like grow up in, a, in maybe a world where black owned businesses aren't the anomaly. And sometimes I feel um, 
Are we like? Are we just gonna do this forever, <laughs> or is there gonna be a? Is there gonna be a point where we get to enjoy what we've built? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, look at all these different plants here. Isn't this cool? So, yeah, we're walking down into the valley. Look, this grass is almost as tall as we are. Huh? Water. What? Yeah, you see the water over there? Even when I was just clinically depressed, I didn't know what to do, and there wasn't just this readily available answer. I just went out and fished for a little bit. And I didn't find an answer. I just I got to be out in nature and, and, and fish. Start pulling this, pull this line. Pull, okay, pull it again. You feel it, you feel it fighting? You feel it going? This is not how we planned on things going. Like, where you are not thriving. Yeah. Do but we, I think right now what you do is you just keep showing up and you keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. And like, when we figure out the thriving part, then we share that with people. Are you ready? Okay, all right. Okay, look. Oh. Yeah, we are going to hold it. Mm -hmm. I want to build this for our kids to feel safe. Yeah. In both our community, in the outdoors. Building it with the hope of, like, for future generations and future families. I am seeing the connection to how my wife is so intentional about showing representation just like my mom was. She is bent on changing that narrative. And not just in this town, but from this town. <laughs> oh, did not? Oh, okay. I love you too. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. I, I do want to keep the doors open, but I, but I think, I think we're here for something deeper and bigger. These, these flags that might be flying, there are people behind those. And I, don't, I could care less about the flags, like I'm here for the people. We're here for the people. We'll continue to lift her up, for sure. That's, uh, Thank you. Uh -huh. Slim Pickens, man. Slim Pickens is love. It's not like any water, it's this water. Oh, it's this water. I walked in, introduced myself. It was just supposed to be a quick little 30 minute hi and Ben. I think I was there for three hours, and I kind of spilled my story with him. And by the time it was all said and done, man, we were hugging, and he calls it fast friends. Moving your cast is going back. Going back good and strong. When you come in, we want you to stay a while, whether you buy anything or not. We want you to, to take away something from here. Let your guard down a little bit. One story a lady shared with me is across the street is a courthouse, and she, when she was a kid, she used to look down here at this drugstore well, down the hallway from the window that she looked down at this place was a bathroom that said whites only. So she came and she started crying and said, you know, I think about that little girl now and then the woman that I am today talking to you who's inside owning a business in this town. People are diversifying the outdoors and that's great. And I'm part of that and I'm gonna to continue to promote that. What I see is that there's still a lack of diversifying the outdoor industry because that's talking about ownership. I want to build this up to a point that I can pass this on generationally. When I'm gone for my sons to tell that story to somebody else, like, yeah, this is something me and my dad and my family built, and they passed it on. The verdict is still out. It's not fixed. We're not, we haven't arrived anywhere, but like, there's evidence of things changing here. We are building community like that. That is happening. And we're, we're outfitting people and getting them outdoors. That is happening. And those people are being a part and buying into this story of diversity. That is happening. So even if the business doesn't continue, like that stuff is happening. The trajectory has been changed because it's past time. <laughs>